Hey there, cool cats. Get it, because I'm wearing a cat shirt. So the lighting right now looks really wild, but you'll understand in a second just why it looks like that. So this video was requested, kind of. Uh, somebody wanted to see all the weird stuff that I own, and a lot of you wanted to see a room tour. So I thought, why not kill two birds with one stone, and I'm gonna do a room tour only showing you weird stuff. And this is just gonna be stuff in like my bedroom space, even though I like lay claim to quite a few rooms in this house. Just if I tried to show you all of them in one video, we'd probably be here all day. Which is ridiculous because when I give tours of our house, I'm just like, and this is my room. Now let's go eat some ice cream because ice cream is the most important thing in my life. Yeah. So if this sounds good to you, then let's go. Okay, so now the explanation for why the lighting looks weird, it's because I'm in a very narrow hallway. It's the stairs that lead to my room and I could only put like a little flashlight on my camera. So the first thing is the first thing you see in my room. It's a giant pair of sunglasses that double as an actual mirror. And also a mini chalkboard that says you look stashing. Even though this may seem like a really weird space to put a mirror, I actually do use it. Like if I'm running up or down the stairs or getting ready to leave, I'll just be like, oh my gosh, do I look good? And you know what? I always look stashing. Okay, so this is next as you're going down the stairs. It's like a window well kind of thing because my bedroom's in a basement. And seeing this stuff actually reminds me that I should kind of put a disclaimer that most of these things are all thrifted. If it came from a store in the last year, I'll try to put a link down below. Otherwise, I'm really sorry, but hopefully this video gives you thrift goals. These are a pair of car dice I got for my Sweet 16, even though I didn't get my driver's license until I was 20. I have a lawn gnome. I would collect more of them, but I already collect owls, so I just don't want to overwhelm myself with collections. There's a bell from like a store. Sorry, that was really obnoxious of me. Pretty sure I bought this brand new at Walmart. Seeing these two things together reminds me that I love things that are the wrong size. Whether that be like they're too big or too small, I'll usually buy it. And then of course, there's an exit sign because this is the exit. Whenever I see it, I get the theme song from One Saturday Morning stuck in my head. You know, I'm trying to exit sign. I'll let you fill in the rest because I'm sure it's in your head now too. You know, I don't even care if this video is long. It's just really fun to show you guys weird stuff. Okay, so this is the one window I have in my basement. <laughs> Obviously, you see the curtains first. I do not remember where I bought them. I just know that I bought them because they reminded me of if Cher had a circus. And I can see you checking out my disco balls. These are Christmas ornaments. And this big one came from a store called Five Below. I think I got it for $5. Moving on, this is my computer space. It's, I have a really old desktop computer. This is where I edit all my YouTube videos. And because I spend so much time editing videos, I want to be in a space that's creative and inspirational. So I have this giant cork board full of stuff. Probably the best thing I have is this calendar. It's called Cats of 1986. Like, what? I always think it's weird when people show their calendar in like a video or a photo, because then you can see everything that I'm doing this year. If all goes according to plan, hopefully my future self, while editing this video, will have close-ups of all this stuff. If not, then I'm very disappointed in my future self. You had one job, Hannah. Hmm. And because this is supposed to be weird stuff, I'll show you my jar of pens. This is definitely not all of them, but I love a good novelty pen. We've got this one, which I'm pretty sure I bought the only time I went to Chicago. Take a guess at how old I was. Tiny guitar pen? I can't even hold it right. I don't know how to hold a guitar. Clearly, I don't play any instruments. Tube of lipstick or pen or both. No, I would not recommend using a pen as lipstick. That's a terrible idea. A pen that looks like a mustache. A Backstreet Boys gel pen from the year 2000. Stole it from my sister. And gotcha. It's a pen that looks like a camera. Wow, I never thought I'd show my pens on camera. Let's move on. And this is the actual bed of my bedroom, which is how it got its name. I have no idea where the bedding came from. It just showed up one day in a bag that I brought home from the store. This is like my favorite part of my room. And yes, I'm standing in my bed, please don't tell my mom. But it's my favorite just because of all the cool stuff on it. Babysitter's Club sleeping bag, got it for Christmas. Santa got it on eBay. Thrifted caboodles cases, a thing that makes rainbows. Everybody needs a rainbow maker. A globe from the Sheldon Show, thing that makes stars. Grinch, because I was in Zuzical the Musical. The Grinch wasn't even in that. My grandma just gave it to me as a wrap present because it's Dr. Seuss. We have an owl, it says 2011, it's not when I graduated. 
which is like it's an owl, and 11 is my lucky number. I've got the Brooke Shields Barbie doll, owl, a dog for my best friend Lindsay, a Kleenex box case shaped like a ladybug, because I used to collect ladybugs when I was a kid. <laughs> and more owls. Whew, what a montage. And next, we have my bookshelf. Wait, I want this to be my favorite thing. I take back the other thing. Now, if you have no idea who I am, the first thing you probably thought when you looked at me was, that girl must collect Babysitter's Club. Well, person, I don't know. You're right, I do. I've got the videos, I've got the books, I've got the sleeping bag, I've got the dolls. Yeah, I'm legit. As far as the dolls go, I only have four right now, but three of them came in the boxes, so doing good. And then, of course, I have the books. I have the entire regular series, all of mysteries, super mysteries, super specials, um, the fan requested books, and then some other books, but don't look at those. As far as the weirdest book that I own goes, hands down it has to be How to Pee Standing Up Tips for Hip Chicks. Don't let my stuffy button up shirt fool you. I love reading silly books. Plus you can learn a whole bunch of things like how to pee standing up, uh, how to deal with an evil landlord, guys to avoid, how to use dial up internet, tips for gambling. Just now realizing how weird it is that I bought this book when I was only 14. Second to last thing is finding out what's behind Justin Bieber. No, I think we've already all seen that. You ready for this? Bet you were expecting something boring like a monster. Nope, just my board game closet. And to answer any questions you have, yes, I've played them all. Yes, we can play them if we ever hang out. And hopefully, as in hopefully one day I can show you all of the games. That's a video for a different day. Last but certainly not least is another spot that I'm gonna claim is my favorite. And it's this little shelf full of stuff. To be quite honest, I would say that it is the weirdest thing in my room. Got a magazine rack full of a lot of old magazines. Then, like I said, just weird old stuff. Cindy Lauper record. Cindy Lauper trading cards. Goosebumps lunchbox. A couple California raisins. Another gremlin, which is weird because I only own one. Anyways, uh, oversized crayons, which again go with that whole thing I said in the beginning of the video that I like things of the wrong size. There are actually piggy banks. I'm really broke. Yeah, in case there were any burglars watching this video hoping to find where I keep my money, it's not these giant grants because I don't have money. And the final, final thing is still in the making and that is what I'm hoping is going to be an entire wall of old posters. Or just posters, I'm not picky. So far, we've got Justin Timberlake, John Stamos, Molly Roomwall, Ow. Donkey Kong, and of course Justin Bieber, who you already saw. That's it for me. I'm gonna go have a bowl of ice cream now. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope that you will give this video a thumbs up, that you will subscribe, and that I will see you around in future videos. This looks very Blair Witch Project.